بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear students let us continue to lesson number eight uh, before we move on uh, uh, let us re, um, recap as to what we had covered up until now we covered harakat which are vowels فتحة كسرة ضمة number two We covered Tanween, which is the implied Noon, Fathatin, Kasratin, Dhammatin. And after that, <coughs> we took exercises on that, and then we move on to something called Huruf al Mad. Huruf al Mad, which are the letters of Mad, stretch letters, which are. Uh, we mentioned one form of them last time. We said the letters of Mad, they correspond to Fatha. Alif corresponds to Fatha, right? We took Alif Sagira, right? Small Alif. Alif Sagira, we took last time. So we have Alif Sagira that corresponds to what? Fatha. And we have Ya Sagira which corresponds to Kasra. And we have Wow Sagira which corresponds to Tamma. We took the Sagira form. Alif Sagira, Ya Sagira, Wa Sagira, the small form. And we also mentioned that in the Quran, these Huruf al the three letters of stretch, appear in another form, which is the original form, the big form, right? Alif, Ya, Wa, they appear in the original form as well. Now, this is what we're going to be taking today, inshaAllah ta'ala. So, so last time we actually took this lesson, right, which contains the Sagira, Alif Sagira, Ya Sagira, Wa Sagira, and if you download the next page that I had uploaded there, it will be like this. Okay, it is about this lesson as you can see this uh, you see the original alif the original ya and the original wow let us cover that together inshallah so here you see alif regular alif it's not a small alif wow regular alif is not a small wow and it's not a small ya uh, either so how do we pronounce them how do we pronounce them now, uh, before we mention something about the other, about the other, uh, the small version we said they're called Alif, A, Lif, Sagira, right? The small Alif is called Alif Sagira. The small Ya is called Ya Sagira. And the small wow is called wow Sagira, right or no? So what do you call the original alif and the original yeah and the original wow? Regular alif, regular yeah, regular wow. What do you pronounce this? You call this Alif Sukun. So instead of saying Alif Sagira, you say Sukun. Su, Kaf, Wow, Noon, Sukun. Ya, Sukun. Wow, Sukun. So remember the word Sukun, 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 Sukun. Sukun means resting, right? Because it's not a moving sound on these alif or yet. Right? They are resting letters. Okay? Sukun, alif sukun. Everybody say it with me. You say it with me. Alif sukun. Ya sukun. Wow sukun. That's it. 
Now let us practice this in a practical lesson. Here we have them. This is the eighth lesson, huruf al mad wal The letters of mad and lin. These are letters of mad, alif, wow, and ya. How do you read this? Well, it's pretty much like you read the previous lesson. Ba, fatha, alif, saghira? No. So before you would say ba, fatha, alif, saghira, now you say ba, fatha, alif, sukun. Just change the word saghira to sukun. Ba is terminology only. Application is the same. Ba, fatha, alif, sukun, ba. Two harakat. Ba. Ba, dhamma, waw, sukun, bu. Ba, kasra, ya, sukun, bi. Ba, bu, bi. We're going to say them together. Ba, bu, bi. Next. Ta, fatha, alif, sukun, ta. Ta, dhamma, waw, sukun, tu. Ta kasra ya sukun ti Ta tu ti Follow me Tha fatha alif sukun tha Tha dhamma wa sukun thu Tha kasra ya sukun thi Tha thu thi ح فتح ألف سكون ح ح ضم و سكون ح ح كسر يا سكون ح ح ح ح خ فتح ألف سكون خ خ ضم و سكون خ خ كسر يا سكون خ خا خو خی را فتح الف سکون را را دم و سکون رو را کسر یا سکون ری را رو ری ز زو زی ط ط ط ض ض ض ف ف ف ه ه ه ي ي ي ا و ي جا جو جي دا دو دي ذا ذو ذي سا سو سي شا شو شي صا صو صي ضا ضو ضي ع عو عي ع عو عي turn to next page غين فتح ألف سكون غا غين ضم و سكون غو غين كسر يا سكون غي غا غو غي ق فتح ألف سكون ق ق ضم و سكون قو قاف كسرى يا سكون قي 
กอกูกีแกกูกีแลลูลีแมมูมีนานูนีว้าวูวีโอเคอัลฮัมดุลิลลาห์ we're going to stop here i n s h a l l a h this is ฮูรูฟุลมัด again it is the second part of ฮูรูฟุลมัด lesson again these are the original forms those were the s a g h i r a forms just practice this with hija as well as without hija and you'll be good to go next time we'll cover this this something else we'll cover that in the next lesson insha'Allah jazakumullah khairin wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh study